So St Ives today is a crossroads between the past and the future. We've had this wonderful past, the modern movement in St Ives, mid 20th century, some truly internationally significant British artists living and working here. And now today, obviously times have moved on, there's a new generation, the sons and even grandsons of some of the eminent artists, as well as newcomers. I just wonder, however, whether the Tate Gallery, important though it is, is it too much an institutionalisation of the St Ives colony? Is it too corporate? Or will the independent free spirit of the artist continue to, um, to prosper here and flourish? And I think the answer must be that uh, St Ives will always be an art colony, will always have that liberal independence of spirit and of course the physical beauty of the environment which in itself is a suitable reason to attract artists of all kinds. Mm -hmm.